Well, the report is prices are about to plummet. Car prices are about to plummet based on oversupply. What about that kind of BS? In fact, you know, you've probably seen these uh, reports or stories in the past. Uh, be careful if you want to buy a new car. Some dealers are hiding new cars from the lot so they can charge high prices to potential buyers. Dealers are creating artificial short supply, so don't overpay and stay away from marketing pressures from the salespeople. And do not believe them today is the last day that you'll get the same deal. Big salesman technique, right? So this chase came across that the U.S. car market has shifted into lower gear. I like that. In only a matter of months after average car prices hit record highs as recently as last summer, some analysts are now predicting that an oversupply of vehicles will lead to a price war that sends those prices downward. We do know that production has caught up, and we also know the transporting of those new cars to dealerships has been uh, restricted to a point. So now, a recent report from UBS estimates that global car production will exceed sales by 6% this year, leaving an excess of 5 million vehicles that will require price cuts to get those vehicles sold off the lots. And we are still dealing with 2022 vehicles on the lots. So many times I'm able to tell you about deals being offered on 2022 models, and now they're saying an excess of 5 million vehicles will require more price cuts. Although those price cuts might not happen until the last half of this year, which we're now in, automakers are preparing for a price war and some EV makers are already slashing their prices. Quote, given the bullish production schedules, we see high risk of overproduction and growing pricing pressure as a result. This is from UBS. The price war was already started unfolding in the EV space and we expect that to spread into the combustion engine segment during the second half of 2023. Makers of family cars are most likely to suffer from these price cuts, while luxury car makers are expected to hold up a little bit better. EV makers might take a major hit due to the combination of soaring energy costs and high prices to put many customers out of reach. In January, just not too long ago, Elon slashed the price of its cars by, what, eight, ten thousand $10,000 overseas, and some of his cheaper models are now around the same price range as mass market brands such as Kia. Ford and Lucid are among the other car manufacturers that have reacted to Tesla's cuts by lowering their own EV prices. Meanwhile, there is already evidence, already evidence now, that car prices across all segments have softened. The latest data from Cox Automotive released uh, just last month showed that wholesale used vehicle prices fell 2.5% from a year earlier, although they did tick up 1.5% from the previous month. Okay, so here's a report from Kelly Blue Book that new vehicle prices dropped for the third straight month and it's starting to look like a sustained trend, even so prices remain historically high. Hmm, <laughs> does this make sense to you at all? Too many vehicles now, prices are still historically high, they're hiding vehicles, and prices will be going down here in a few months? Well, I'm going to stay on top of it. I'm going to let you know what's going on. I'm just surprised at the conflicting information that's coming out. They're producing too many. We've got too many here available. Sometimes they can't get here. Dealerships are hiding vehicles so they can make the appearance of scarcity happen so they can charge way over MSRP. I'm just as frustrated and angry as you are. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm on it for you. I'll keep on giving these updates. So stay tuned. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe. And give us a thumbs up. See you next time.